How you doing? This is Vito from Jersey. I just want to show you here, this is a tribute to the old man, my father. This is his workbench. My father passed away. He was 91 years old. Old Sicilian guy. Like a rock. Like a rock he was. <laughs> now this was his workbench. And these are some of his tools. When I come down here, this, more than anything else, reminds me of my father. Look at this. Never threw nothing away. His old license plate. New Jersey license plate. FCZ59D. The old man's plate. Alright. Look at these things. Some of his some of his tools. Look at this. This thing was a lawn trimmer. Imagine that. He used to get down on his hands and knees and trim the edges of the lawn. All around the house. How long it took him? An hour, an hour and a half. Look, boom, boom. Nowadays they got the the edges. Zoom, zoom, zoom. One, two, three. Gone. Finished. Complete. Look at this. Amazing, huh? This thing over here. Look at this. He used to sharpen it. Look at this. Look at the old cord. Look. Everything's falling apart. Look. I don't even want to plug it in. I'm afraid. I was going to plug it in and turn it on. This is the sharpener. That he used to sharpen his tools on. Look at that. Always kept everything like a. Look at that. The old man. Here's something. All hand drills. Now they got power drills, right? Now they don't even have cords on it. I used to play with this when I was a kid. This was a machine gun for me. Yeah, when I was a kid. <laughs> Nowadays, the kids, they buy the machine guns and the, the, the toys. They put the batteries in. It makes the noise for you. We didn't have that. What batteries? What toys? A stick. Most of we had a stick. Remember that? <laughs> the kids were jealous because I had this. I used to take this. I used to go outside. Hey, can I use that? They used to have a stick of wood. <laughs> you know, parents wouldn't buy kids toys like that. They used to buy things you need. Shoes, uh, Christmas, one toy. Now the kids, I don't know, I got a, a room full of plastic for my kids. One room. Full of plastic, just for the kids' toys. Eh. What toys did we have? I remember I wanted, this is the 1960s, there was a, a set. I don't know if any of you guys remember it. It was called the Blue and Gray Battle Set. It was a Civil War set. It was little toy soldiers, the Blue and Gray Battle Set. I remember it was $7 for the whole set. I think my father would buy it for me. Forget about it. You know what he did? I told him, Dad, I want a soldier set. I want a total soldier set. You know what he did? He came down here. He bought a thing of clothespins. All right? He put a little cardboard base on the clothespin. Not the clips clothespins. The stand, you know, standard cl clothespins. Put a little base. Each one he painted. The top of a little face, little heads. One more blue. I think he was 12 blue and 12 uh, gray. And he bought me a bag of rubber bands. That's what he gave me. And I would set them up, and I would shoot the rubber bands from either side at them to knock them down. And that's what I, and I had so much fun with those things. It wasn't the blue and gray battle set. Some of my American friends, their parents bought them, but, you know, my father wouldn't, they wouldn't go for stuff like that. He, he didn't think. My father was, uh, you got to figure, my father was, I'm 54 years old, my father, my father was born in 1904, all right? Father was born in 1904. He, he was almost 50 when I was born. He didn't think like that. It was a whole different generation. But anyway, these are the tools from the old man. Another old hand drill. This is a tribute to my father. Guillermo Quattrocchi. They used to call him Willie Quack. He had a candy store in Hoboken down on Monroe Street called Turk's Palace. Those who know will attest. And uh, someday I'll tell you some stories about that place. <laughs> the Bapayels that used to come in and out of there. He used to have card games in the back room, three slot machines, pool tables. Guys used to come in, I was 14 years old, they used to... These wise guys used to come in, they used to say, Check my gun. Here I'm 14 years old. I'm taking the guy's gun. I'm putting it under the thing because my father didn't allow guns in the back room. 
Imagine that. This was about 1960s, 66, 67. All the wise guys used to come into play craps by Willie Quacks. Quack, because the last name is Quattrocchi Quack, Quattrocchi Quack, you know, you know. Street guy stuff. Guillermo, his name is Guillermo, that's William Willie, Willie Quack. That was a street name. Everybody had a street name. We had guys in the used to come in there. Joe Joe Bop. That was my cousin, Joe Bop. Of course he was a half ass gangster. Joe Bapael. The Bapael was a gangster, they used to call him the guy's a real Bapael. <laughs> like a kind of a Bapael was kind of a wannabe. You know? And uh, we had Joe comb my hair because he was always combing his hair. Ziggy the Slick. I don't know why they called him that. I guess because he was slick. Ziggy the Slick. Vito the Blade. That was that wasn't me. Vito the Blade. Uh, now a blade means you're a fag. But in those days, I guess he carried a blade. Uh, you know. What a time, what a place. Those those memories uh, will never go away. And this is for the old man. And uh, this is Vito from Jersey. Saying God bless. Hope to see you soon.